Hey everyone and welcome to part two of this series. So in the first part we went through how we can get an access token for the user and how we may debug that token to figure out if we actually got the right scopes. And uh, in this video we're going to focus on how can we actually grab a page token because page tokens are pretty powerful. We can do a bunch of stuff with them like creating chatbots and creating jobs on our server to read different things going on, on our Facebook page. And Facebook is very popular right now, especially if you're a business. So you can do a bunch of cool integrations. Okay, so uh, I have the project open from last time. And uh, I'm going to be, yeah, starting out here, figuring out how we can get this page token. So if you look at the code from last time, we have some code here where we got an app access token, and then we had a way to debug the token. Now, let's do the first things, first things first, which is gonna to be to run our ng-rock script. So let's open up the terminal here, drop it down a little bit, and let's run yarn ng-rock. That should give an address down here, which we can copy paste into our browser. And I, I have an incognito open here because I, uh, oops, I forgot to also open up local host. So let me just also call yarn dev. All right. So now, yeah, as I was saying, I open up this window on local host and that's because I don't want to have any cookies doing some yeah, funny business. Okay, so we're back from last time when we can press this login. And uh, yeah, once again, we're gonna get this error because now we're on a new ng rock domain. So we need to head back to our app to uh, put this new address in. Okay, so let's open up the uh, app here in Facebook. Let's make sure we go to settings. And on our settings page, let's put in this new ng-rock domain. Let's press save. And uh, now there's another thing we need to do in here, which is going to be... Oh, it seems like it didn't save for some reason. Let me try again. Okay, cool. Now, there's one more thing that we need to do in here, which is because now we are going to try to actually do some testing with test users. So we need to go into our settings here, I believe. Let me see. No, it's actually inside app review. There's something called permissions and features. In here there is a the the very first permission you see is going to be public profile. You need to just uh, request advanced access. And you're gonna get that right away. So you can see here for me it says return to standard access. Uh, I already ha have it. So you just need to make sure you do that. Okay. After you've done that, you can go to the test users section here and you can grab a test user. There should already be one user generated for you. And I'm going to try to log in with uh, this test user in a moment. Okay. So let me just try to grab this user and let's try to do a login here. Okay. So there was actually still a cookie which is uh, a little bit annoying. So I'm just gonna close this window and open up a new one. Make sure I get the right ng-rock URL. All right, so there's one thing I also need to make sure that I do, and that is to go to the file on the front in here which is going to make a post to an ng-rock URL. I also need to make sure this one is the new one that I just got here. Otherwise, we're going to get a course issue like last time. All right, let's see. Let's jump back to our page and let's try to do a login again here. Okay, so now we are actually prompted for our credentials and uh, we can jump back to the app here and then grab that email here. 
Now, if you haven't generated a password yet, you can press edit here and then you can change the password right here. I already have a password, so I'm just going to insert the email and then type in the password. Okay, cool. That seemed to be working. I got my access token and here I did get some scopes as well. All right, so let's uh, try now to open up Facebook. And now we should actually be logged in due to the cookie because we're logged in here. So now let's try to create a page. I already have a page here, which is called test page. Um, but uh, if you haven't created one, great one. And I'm, I'm just going to create another one here. I'm going to call it test two. And it's required to choose a category, so I'm just going to choose one, book, and then press add. That should take just a moment. And after you create a, your page, you can now, whenever you log in, you have the option to choose what pages you want to grant permission to. Okay? So if I go back here and I attempt to log in again, it should actually prompt me to choose what pages that I would like to grant access to. So let me try to reload. Okay, so I'm not getting prompted yet. And the reason is I'm only asking for the public profile scope. So, so far I didn't put in any scopes that has to do with pages. And that's gonna be my next move now. So actually, in addition to this scope, I also would like to have the pages read engagement scope. So this scope is just going to give me access to reading what's going on on the page, what kind of posts, what kind of content has the page created, and even check up on followers and yeah, stuff like this. So if I go back here and try to refresh and try to log in again, it should detect now that I want more scopes. And here it even says, at before I have um, been interacting with this app. So let me just see here, I can choose what pages do I want to give access to, okay? And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna choose the test two, the one I just created, that's the one I want to give access to. Uh, and I can press next here. And here you will get some permissions um, that you are asking for this page. And this is where the debug, uh, the debug route or functionality that we added last time is useful because if I start checking these off, um, I don't actually have the permission that my app might expect. So I need to actually check up on the access token that I get to make sure that, hey, I actually got the permissions that my app needs, okay? But uh, for simplicity, I'm just gonna add all the permissions that this app wants and this, then press finish. Okay. So nothing else has really happened now. We just gave some more permissions, but we are not really using those permissions in our app. So that's going to be the next part. Okay. So let's close down these two and then jump into our API folder, which is our backend here. So in here, currently we're just yeah, debugging the token, grabbing the scopes. Now, let's actually grab the pages associated with our token, okay? And for that, I'm gonna create a new function down here. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna call it get pages, uh, get pages based on token. I'm gonna pass in a token here. And the endpoint that I want to reach this time, I can copy paste this one up here. It's going to be the slash me slash accounts. And then of course, I'm going to uh, pass in a token. And just to be more specific, we can call this variable uh, user token. And then pass it in here. Okay, so this endpoint, basically what it does is it uh, yeah, returns uh, 
what kind of pages we have access to based on our token. And before, and to debug that, or just to test it out, we can actually grab the token in here that we generated, and then we can jump to our other browser window where we are logged in as our developer account, and then go to the Graph API Explorer. And just type in the endpoint here, and then put in the token in here as well. Now we can query that, and we can actually see what we will get back here. So you can see here we get an array of things, and in this array we have basically some pages. We have a name of the page, an ID, uh, and also an access token. And this access token is actually the, the page access token. Okay, so that's pretty cool. This endpoint is, uh, yeah, very useful and something that we need to use whenever we're working with pages and want to generate tokens. Now at the bottom we have some paging. This is for pagination in case we have a ton of pages, but we just have one, so that's all right. Now let's try to grab this payload and then generate a TS type from it. Okay. Down here, we can actually add some types. So here we can do await response JSON. And then we can try to add a type here. And this type is just going to be called, I'm just going to call it a Facebook post. And this Facebook post is going to have a actually. I'm just going to move this data part. And then now I'm going to try to replace some of this dummy data with types. Okay. So everything seems to be a string more or less. So I can do this. And then do a little bit of cleaning up here, so category list is going to be an array of things. And this task seems to be a string array, right? Let's move these curly brackets. All right, looks looks actually quite okay. I'm not sure if I typed something wrong here. Oh, let me just try to add it down here. So we get something back, which is going to be an object with a data property. And here we're expecting to get an array of Facebook posts. Okay, if I save that, everything is nicely formatted. All right, cool. So now we can actually do return data dot. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's basically data and data actually. Okay. Cool. So now we have implemented the endpoint. Uh, if you want to do a little bit of error validation, we can do a check that says. If the response is okay, then we can assume that we have some data, otherwise we can throw an error here. Not the best error message, but it's something. Okay, cool beans. Now let's go to our default handle up here and try to call this endpoint. So let's call, let's just say pages, await, get pages based on token, then pass in our token, which should reside in the request query token parameter. And that should actually give us some tokens. Now I'm just interested in, in the access token for now. So I'm going to try to grab that one. And here I'm going to assume that something is here. 
on the first spot or on the first spot in the array of pages. If not, I have this fallback. And then I'm gonna return the access token. Okay. So now we actually modified our code to return also an access token. So let's see if we can grab that from the front end. Let's open up the right window. Let's try to log in here. Now, it's always gonna prompt like this because we're asking for some pages, uh, permissions, and perhaps we changed our mind so we can go in here and edit our settings. But I'm just gonna check, press continue. And let's see what we get back this time. Oh, we do get the access token here. And also the scopes as we returned earlier. So hmm. that works pretty well. Cool, we have the access token. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all I want to show in this video. Basically, how can we get an access token or page access token from a user token? And uh, yeah, in the next series, let's, or in the next video even, let's try to do something cool with this token.